Welcome everyone. This is Jenkins Office Hours, September 24th, 2020 uh, for Google Season of Docs documentation. Thanks for being here. And let's look at the agenda and here's what we've got noted so far. Oh, nothing on the agenda yet. Let's create one and be sure that we got it. Sure. Hey, Mark, how's it going? Hi, Kristen. How are you? Doing good. I'm glad that you were able to join for a few minutes. I was worried that I would not be able to open a Zoom meeting. So I'm glad you Oh, <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> and we probably should get you um, registered into the into the CDF account so that you could start it if, if one of us uh, if I are, and Marky are both not available, because mm -hmm. there's no reason for you to be blocked from using that. Uh, let's see, how do I remove a hyperlink? Remove, there we go. Okay. That didn't help at all, did it? All right. So we've got the three of us today. So topics from last time, let's bring them in. Blog post, share the links with the doc mailing list. And probably, so Zenob, would you like to, are you at a point where you'd like to discuss the draft Google Doc that you've got created? What, what, would, what else would you like on the agenda? Um, yes, yes. Um, I would like us to discuss um, the, a little on the draft on installing Jenkins on Kubernetes. Okay, great. Let's see, and do we have other pull requests? We've got, so we had a discussion. Let's, that one, Zinoc and Mark. We can certainly discuss that. Uh, and I haven't seen a share of that link. How about if we move that underneath the graph, draft Google Doc? Okay. And then my usual nervousness um, is Minikube still working okay? Etc. Okay. I shared the link to the draft. Oh, very good. Okay, so it's in the uh, chat. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so here's the draft. And let's go large. So create a cluster. Create a namespace. Persistent volume, service account, and then Helm is a, and if I remember correctly, Helm is a different approach. Yes. Or, okay. All right. Okay. So, do you, would you like to us to spend the time here reviewing in detail? Kristen certainly has experience in this space that I lack. Okay. Or would you rather we, we just review it offline and give you feedback in the document? Um, whichever one works for you, what is fine for me. If you drop comments, I'll go through them and work, and work on them. So. Okay, yeah. And also, is that shared out to, I guess, the docs channel as well? It hasn't <laughs> been, or, or has it? No, it hasn't. Oh, okay. But but the link is the link is available, and so okay, okay. we we just need. I think Zenob, if you want to send a message, an email message to the Docs channel, um, that would be great. Okay. Just say hey, welcome yes. other people to review. Okay. With the comments, yeah, because I remember that was what we were talking about on Monday, yeah. like making sure that it has like the comments only. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, whoops, wrong one. This one is already, yeah, it's already set up that way. So it is already configured to allow 
anyone can comment. Perfect. All right, cool. I was just wondering where to where to find the link. So it's like if it's in this document, also on the channel, it's good to share out and maybe um, I'll help step through it too and like make sure that it makes sense from the perspective right. of like if you're starting from scratch. Mm -hmm. which is Very good. Okay, and let's see, shall we check the status on the poll requests? As well, I think we had comments from Oleg on one of the poll requests. Yeah, um, he mentioned something about Helm. I do. Oh. Yeah, so some uh, this one was his, right? Where, and I, I agree with this one that we should postpone it to publishing until tomorrow because today we need to keep the social media focus on the Jenkins elections. We need to get that launched and get people involved. Now, now this one on Helm and Kubernetes. Helm, at least Helm charts are mentioned explicitly in in your install guide. Yes. And so I now and I but I didn't see anything yet on the Kubernetes operator. Do no, I've not got anything on the Kubernetes operator yet. Would that be a good thing to add as a maybe a phase three, like just exploration? I did add the links to the one to our um, the office hours notes from like where the presentation for Kubernetes operator is if you wanted to watch it. I know there's a repository, okay. but it, maybe it's something that's later after like the basics. Sorry, Kristen, I didn't get that. Oh, sorry. Um, maybe adding the Kubernetes operator is that like a month three or like a month two piece because the helm chart i know that you're working on now but um maybe the kubernetes operator is if it hasn't been looked at yet is something for maybe not right now but maybe for the next month or so okay i i think i think that makes sense put it later because you're on the helm chart now Yes. Um, if if um, it's just um, an introductory section, I could just um, probably read up on it and put probably like an introduction. If yeah, but um, I think I'll just have to figure out probably um, somewhere in the timeline where I'll be working on Jenkins operator and put like an introduction. Since I kind of put um, a brief timeline on what I'll be doing through the internship, so I actually don't think it's a bad idea to just um, put like an introduction on what Helm is and Jenkins operator Kubernetes also. That's a good idea. Okay, so include an introduction. Uh, an intro description of of the operator. Now, am I using the correct term there? Jenkins Kubernetes operator. Okay. So, Zinab, did I capture what you're what you're describing there in the? Yes. And I, I do like the idea of putting the intro description into the, into even the, 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 the guide that you're currently developing, the, your draft Google Doc, that sounds really attractive. That way at least people are aware there is a concept of a Jenkins Kubernetes operator. And if, if they are using operators, that's one for them to consider. Okay. Excellent. All right. 
Okay. Any other topics there that you would like to discuss, Zina? Um, yes. I don't know. Um, I sent um, Maki a couple of messages earlier. I was able to resolve the issue I had with um, service account on Monday, but I noticed I was having issue with um, user group. Sorry, you had um, an issue with, I missed a word there, with user? user. User group, user group. Oh, okay, user group, got it. it so um, when I read about it and I did some research, I found out that um, what I got was that I was probably using a different user group to run the container than what was in the file, in the value file. I wasn't able to resolve that at the end of the day. Um, I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, but let me just paste the configuration here just to give a bit of context. Okay, so I've pasted the configuration in the chat. Oh, good, okay. Okay, my heroic effort to paste it without bullet marks failed. Sorry about that. There we go. Okay. So okay. I, this, this is not at all familiar to me. Maybe Kristen can, or is this one where we just plan for a uh, need uh, discussion with Marky on Monday? Yeah, let me look at this yeah. a little bit more. I was like, I've, yeah, to make sure that this is I was familiar with home, um, so I was like, this is an issue with that, but yeah, I was like, eh, one is user zero. That does seem like, and I think that you should probably have that defined as something, but I will double check with that. Like, it shouldn't, I don't know if it should be zero. Um, so, um, I actually found a temporary solution, this, um, oh, configuration. Okay. this configuration here is a temporary solution. So, what is in um, Jenkins, uh, Helm chat is run as user is 1000, FS group yeah. is 1000. That's the default in Jenkins value, Helm chat values rather. But when I run it as that, I'm having permission issues. So after doing research and trying so many things, I found a post on Stack Overflow that said um, setting it as zero would work. But the implication would be that I'm running all commands in the com container as root. Yeah, um, that's, that's what I look at this like, I don't think that's right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's. Exactly. So, and I'm not really sure. I don't think this would be the best way to solve this. That's why I decided to raise it. Right, and, and I, at least my, my, my innate response to running as root, even inside of a, a Kubernetes container, running Jenkins as root in particular is, oh, I don't want to do that because of all the things you will discover that Jenkins mistakenly did this or did that yes. and had previously <laughs> relied heavily on operating system protection to defend you. I, yeah. As an example, I've written tests in particular plugins I maintain that depended on never running as root. And so, so yeah, the, the, I, I agree with Kristen. That's run as user zero is is a, is a sort of a red flag. It's yeah. good, I guess, for now. Like, and then uh -huh, let's figure sure. out like how to like just like to get the stuff started, and then we'll figure out like I right. I bet there's something where it's just you have to be able to give the agent like the permissions at user a thousand or like the level a thousand. But so I'm I'll look into this. So there's probably like one maybe one extra step and then we'll definitely make sure to add that to the guide. <laughs> so. Great. So Zenob, it seems like we've got 
either we work it with, you could try working it with Marty through mm -hmm. chat like tomorrow because DevOps World finishes yeah. today, or we will we will for sure address it on Monday in our uh, docs in our docs uh, office hours then. Okay. That's fine. Great. Any other topics you'd like to bring? Um, no. So it seems like the big issues there are Kristen and I need to review the Google Doc. Sorry that I'm behind. We've got Hacktoberfest coming and things are busy. And then the schedule for the doc to go out, I guess, tomorrow or? Oh, right, the post the, yeah. right, post the blog post, yes. Yeah, I'll try and make the changes um, today so you can have time to review and still push it out tomorrow. Great, all right. And for my comfort, could you, when you make those changes, adjust mm -hmm. the, uh, Adjust the date stamp on the file name. Okay. Match with tomorrow. That okay. way I don't have to do any manipulating of file names myself. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. I think that covered the topics that were on the list. One more check. Anything else you know? No, thank you. All right. Thanks, Kristen. Thanks, Enoch, very much. I'll post a copy of the recording. Okay. Great. Thanks, y'all. Bye. 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 Bye.